Hey everyone, Ham here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up virtual triple screens using the MetaQuest 3 with Vorpex and Virtual Desktop. So you might be wondering why you'd want to set this up if you've got VR. Well, there are some games like WRC that don't have VR support yet, and you may not have the space for a triple screen setup, or you may not even have any screens at all. So in my case, I've just got a 27-inch monitor. However, using Virtual Desktop and the pass-through mode, what we can do is we can just quickly switch to VR mode now and we've got a virtual humongous uh, either triple or ultra wide setup with Vorpex which adds 3D depth to the image as well so I've got this setup now so I've almost got parity with the cabin size now the wheel will move we're just not moving at the minute and you can adjust it to get one to one almost with your actual peripherals so you can still see your gear shifter handbrake and uh, you can actually see where your hands are and stuff so it's pretty cool so I'm going to just give you a quick little demo of what it looks like and then we'll get on with how to set it up in terms of performance I'm running on a uh, 4090 so fairly beefy PC and I have to uh, set the graphics, turn the graphics down a little bit to medium. Turn them down, it's a bit loud. But as you can see, hopefully in the recording, it's running really well. And there's next to no lag between my hands and what the steering wheel is doing, so very little latency at all. And definitely much more immersive than uh, racing on a little 27 inch monitor. Uh, one thing to note with virtual desktop, if you're wondering how to set this up, there are a few bits you'll have to uh, purchase. You'll need to get yourself a decent Wi Fi 6E router. But I've got a video covering the setup of virtual desktop already. Which I'll link in the corner. And Vorpex is a, another separate piece of software you'll need just to get this running in a in VR with the 3D effect. So you can just use Virtual Desktop and run a 2D only 169 aspect video or virtual screen. But if you want this running in ultra wide or virtual triples with 3D, then you'll want to use Vorpex, which is currently £35. And I'll stop there and go over the setup. So, in terms of setup for Vorpex, once you've got it installed and registered, you just want to go to Start Vorpex, then go to the General tab, put it into Open XR mode, and then if we go down to the Cinema Environments, I've added a custom environment called uh, Green 1080p. So I've just added my own custom one by hitting the Add button. There's a blue one as well, but we're going to use the green one and chroma key this out with Virtual Desktop. The other thing we want to do is select the cloud profile that's already been created for WRC. So if you go to the cloud profiles, you'll need to create an account, log in, and then all you need to do is just type WRC, and it'll list the previous profiles that have been made by other users and it's the EA Sports update is the one I've been using so just click import profile and then apply and close so on the quest we want to load up virtual desktop so if you've not seen this program before I'll leave a link to how you can set this up uh, but assuming you you're all set up and ready to go we need to go to the streaming tab then down to the VR pass through menu button and then click enable and then click configure and this is where you can pick the colors that you want to use as your chroma key so as we would picked in the uh, Vorpex cinematic setting we've gone for green so you, you could actually go for blue but this uh, bright green color seems to be the uh, the best one okay on the virtual desktop streamer app on your PC um, you'll want to have this set to H264 plus for sim racing and open XR runtime, I've got that set to the virtual desktop XR, open XR runtime. 
and as you can see out of the box we get a decent size screen anyway so you could technically if you wanted to just start racing with this screen but with Vorpex it'll give us that 3D effect and in addition to that we want to extend the uh, the width of this virtual screen I'm going to go to our Steam library and launch WRC delete on the keyboard we can bring up the Vorpex menu and then we go to more cinema settings so we can go through the different options and this image is the one we want and then image green 1080p so we can now see with chroma key pass through we've now got virtual desktop and Vorpex working together so I can see a 3d image on that screen in front of me now and then I've also gone into the extra settings where you can set the screen curvature so we've got this on maximum you can tilt it you can also change the scale if you wish now in terms of graphics I've got mine set to full screen borderless and I'm running a 1440p monitor so when we go to um, another application in a moment that's why we're adjusting the resolution to accommodate for this screen resolution that the game is rendering in 2D so I've gone for DLSS maximum performance because um, running this on a virtual triple is quite demanding I'm running a 4090 so your mileage will vary depending on what kind of system you're running on the only other thing to check is under the advanced graphics I've got this running on medium again so looking at the maximum performance out of the PC so in order to increase the width of the screen I'm using this application called Simple Runtime Window Editor which is free I'll leave a link to this in the description below so this is an optional step you can just bypass this and run the game in normal 16:9 ratio but if you want to increase the width so you've got the full triple screen effect or ultra wide effect then you'll want to run this little app and people that have used Dirt Rally 2 on triples they're probably familiar with this already so all you need to do is download this open it up and then you go select running applications and then you pick wrc.exe click open and then here is where you can adjust the resolution of your virtual screen so if you had performance problems you could probably reduce the height to a 1080p resolution but still increase the width um, so I've got a profile that I've set up and tested already for 1440p on a 4090 so we'll just click on load profiles I'll open this profile up here and then it's automatically expanded the size of the screen off the page here all right that's it for the video hope you enjoyed it don't forget if you did leave a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one